Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. You see these pictures, sis? You know what slavery happened to the black and Hispanic? because we disobeyed God. Right. That's why. It's not because it just happened just because of our color of our skin. No, because God has his people and God has punished his people because we are disobedient. Right. Watch right. this, let's read. There's a book of Hosea chapter five and verse 15. Right. Yeah. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Well, you see what God said? He's gonna go back to where he came from. Right. Read it again. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. See that? Until you acknowledge our offenses. What sure. is our offenses, sis? Huh? Not obeying his commandments. Sure. That is the major offense that black and Hispanic men have done against God. Because guess what? This is a major offense. Right. White Jesus is a damn disrespect and a slap in the face to God. Right. You understand that, sis? White Jesus is not in the Bible. Right. This Bible is not a white man's book, sister. That's your book and that's your people's book. Right. But they've been lying to you for so long since slavery because we couldn't read. Right. But this Bible talks about the black prophets. Right. This, this is our book, sis. God is black. Christ is black. But guess what? Now, knowing who we are, we got to keep God's commandments. Right. It ain't easy. You think grace? Give me Titus 2, verse 12. Bring it Our up. people talk a lot about grace, right? Oh, Christ Jesus, we we covered in the blood of Jesus. You got grandmas, right? You got aunties. They're always talking about that, right? But they always, but you think they're keeping God's commandments? Not really, no. They're probably smoking the blood. They're Bring probably going up. out to the club, getting drunk with their younger cousins, right, right. with their nephews, right? Bring it up. So, sis. That is, not a, that is not a godly woman, you understand? And I know you don't have that example because I see you right now and by the way your dress is, it's not a godly example that, that they're showing you does say it the Lord, you understand? Right. And I'm going to have to cut it, sis. But watch this. Read that real quick. There's a book of Titus chapter 2 and verse 11. Oh, yeah. For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. So that's what they, they read that. The grace of God had appeared to all men that brings salvation. But what? Watch this. Teaching us that. What does grace teach us? Denying ungodliness. Denying what? Ungodliness and worldly lust. We should live soberly, uh -huh. righteously, and godly in this present world. Right. That, it says right now in this present world, we should be righteous, right. godly, right? Sober. Right. Our people ain't sober today, sis. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? They make marijuana legal right. and now everybody can smoke. Right. Everybody, hey, they made it legal. I can get high. But guess what? You think God wants us to defile the temple, sis? No, because guess what? He chose us to be better than everybody else. Right. Now, 1 Timothy 2 and 9. Now, up. watch this. This is the grace. Grace, God, you know what he would have done if he would have been breaking his commandments in the Old Testament before Christ came? He would have already have killed everybody. You right. understand that? Watch this, sis. Watch this. Read that. Read up. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 9. Bring this is up. a commandment for the sisters. This is for you, sis. In like manner also, that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. See what that says? It says that women adorn themselves in modest apparel. Right. You think our sisters out here in modest apparel? Bring it up. Who, who do they look up today? Oh, what, what's going on? What's, huh? Singers? Like who? Like Megan the Stallion? Bring it Megan up. Megan the Minaj? Make are, they, are they modestly dressed? Nah. No, not at all. It's, it's causing an outrage in our community too because they went right out there. It's almost like if I was watching some type of uh, lesbianic activity. I don't know. But that yeah. thing right there, le uh, homosexuality is against God's laws too. Right. So you know that, sister? So now, give me Deuteronomy. Sis, so what do you think, how do you think you got to dress modestly? You know what modesty means? You see, covering your body parts? Yes. Yes. Right. Hey. To what? To avoid doing what? Attracting what? 
sexual attention, right. making your brothers lust after you out here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Are, you have any kids? You got kids? Are you married? No? You single mama? Single mama? You see that? We're trying to stop the single mamas. Right. We're, start, we're trying to stop baby mama drama, right. brothers on child support. We're trying to stop that. You know why? Because that's destroying our people, sis. Right. That's destroying the children because they grow up without a dad, right. without a father figure in the household. Right. That's why the boys grow up to be effeminate. Right. They don't know how to be men. Because why? Because you got to raise them. Right. And then guess what? It's our fault, too, because we don't know how to be men. Right. And I'm going to show you how to be a woman. You know what I'm saying? According to God, not because I'm say, saying that on my mouth. Watch this. So. Dressing modestly is very important because it can help stop what's going on in our neighborhood, right? right, right. So imagine you walking around looking modest, right? Looking fly though. You, what do you think they're gonna look at? They're gonna look at your body. What they're gonna try to get? They're gonna try to see you for your mind. They're gonna see you different. You ain't out here showing your body part. You ain't on display. But that's what our sisters do. They're on display like that. So guess what? They're gonna want to get what they see. Right? So if you don't show them what they want, guess what? They're going to have to work for it. Right. right? What is that called? It's called marriage. Right. That is right as right just according to the Bible, sis. Right. That's how you avoid baby mama drama. Right. That's how you avoid child support. That's how you avoid STDs in the right. neighborhood. You understand? Yeah. And that's what nobody's teaching. Right. They damn churches in every corner, sister Tatiana, but they ain't teaching you the truth right. because they don't want to rebuke you. Guess why? Because they're going to lose money. Right. They're going to lose people. Grant for old dollar and TD Jakes and all these pastors out here, they bull, they, they bull ishing with our people. You understand? Right, but we ain't bull, we ain't doing that no more. We're gonna bring the truth. So watch this. Deuteronomy 22 and 5 says, hold on. There's a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman, who the woman yeah, talking about the woman, right? Sister Tatiana, read. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Huh? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Oh, you see that? A woman shouldn't dress like a man, or a man shouldn't dress like a woman. Right. That's simple, right? But guess what happened today? What's going on right now? Our, our men, some of them, like them rappers, they're wearing dresses, right. kilts, right? Even Snoop Dogg, who grew up in the hood, he wore a kilt one time. Bring it right. That's effeminate as hell. Right. And that's, that, guess what? Those skirts are for women. Right. Now, what's something that men wear that women wear today? It is normalized in our community. Bring it out. So what? Dickies? Okay, make it plain though. Huh? Okay, you don't know? I'm gonna help you out. What you got on right now, sis? Jeans. Jeans, sister. You see? Remember we talked about dressing modestly? You think jeans is modest? Bring it out. Because guess what? Our sisters, very voluptuous. Very. And guess what? It shows all your curves. You understand? So we're, we're trying to avoid doing that. I don't want to see you. I don't want to see you out here displaying yourself, sis. Right. I want to see a princess of the Lord. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see our sisters displaying themselves like whores. Because guess what? Deuteronomy, hold that. Deuteronomy chapter 23. Is that what I want? It shall be no. Yeah, yeah watch this, sis. Watch this. Because God, he don't want no whores of our, our women. You understand? Bring Look, you, you see the prostitution going around right here? And, 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 uh, especially, I live on Western, sis. Man, there's so much prostitution going around. And guess who's doing it? Guess who's putting the sisters out Bring there to, out. To, to, to sell their bodies? Our own brothers. Right. Our own brothers. You understand? They got the audacity to say, nah, she, she ain't never had a father figure in the house, so I became her daddy. Bring her it out. sugar daddy. You think that's right? You think they really love them? Hell no. I would never put my daughter through that. Bring but guess out. what? Nobody gives a damn. Right. But guess what? We do. Sis, this is very important. Watch this. Read this. Deuteronomy. Uh, there shall be no whore, Deuteronomy 23, 17. Yep. Is that what I want? There's a book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23 and verse 17. There shall be no whore. Hey, by the way, whore is in the Bible. Right. Read. There shall be no whore of the daughter of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. Or sodomites, because a lot of black men, they go the other way. You understand? Right. There's a lot of black men out there, right? What's that? What's the one big drag queen? Uh, what's his name? Paul, Paul, RuPaul, you ever heard of RuPaul? That, that's our brother. Right. And we hope he comes out of that lifestyle, Bring sis. Or oh, guess what's going to happen? Guess what's going to happen if he don't come out of the sodomist li lifestyle? If our sisters don't stop, they close their legs, and they don't stop giving it out to any man they, they just Bring get talked good game to. You know what I'm saying? He said he's going to judge us. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed 
But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.